honey. I told you we'd pull it off. I'm worried. Are you sure we didn't overlook anything? Oh, honey, I've been working on this caper for two years. It's foolproof. No one will ever know where the three million went. Now, here's to you, darling. We'll be in Paris in the morning. <sighs> to us and to Paris. I didn't think we'd ever get away with it. No, a genius couldn't figure that scheme out. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Who's that? Oh, it must be our airline tickets. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> well, then, excuse me, I, I hate to bother you at four in the morning. I'm a... <laughs> I'm Inspector Colombo with the police department. I, uh, my bad. Well, trust me, I'm, I'm Colombo. Well, what can I do for you, Inspector? Well, I'd, uh, I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind, of course. You know, I, uh, I don't like to bother people if they don't mind. I mean, you don't mind, do you? Uh, what's this all about? Well, I wish I knew, ma'am. There are certain things are not clear in my mind, and I just, you know, can't sleep at night. What is it, Inspector? I'm always happy to help the police. Why, well, that's very nice of you, sir. Most people don't want to be bothered, you know, and I don't want to bother people. I'm the last one, you know, to bother people. Um, by the way, are you two married? No, no, we're not married. Oh, I see. Just, just going together. No, we're not going together. Oh, I see, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. You just hanging around together at four in the morning, huh? <laughs> Look, this is none of my business. I mean, you're the law of... This is only gonna take a minute. Now, uh, you're the you're the president, sir, of the Acme Insurance Company. Yeah, uh, that's, that's right. right. Yeah, I better, I better write that down. You got a, you got a pencil? You, you got a... Oh, never mind, I think I got it here. Now, there's, there's been a murder, sir. And about three million in securities is missing. It's probably just been mislaid, but I... I have to ask you this, you know, I was in the neighborhood anyway, if you don't mind, and you don't have to tell me, sir, you're not, you're not under suspicion. Right? We have nothing to hide. Well, that's nice. You look like nice, decent, upstanding citizens. Uh, uh, do you mind telling me, sir, where you were last night about 11 p.m.? I was with Miss Johnson here. Oh, that's good. Uh, uh, Miss Johnson, where were you? Uh, I was, uh, I was with him. Oh, that's good. You both have alibis then. Uh, <laughs> Don't mind my writing here, you know, just, just fills up the pages. I'm, I'm sorry to bother you. You've been very cooperative, you know. I hate to butt in like this, but it's part of my job. Sorry again. Won't bother you more. I told you we'd never get away with it. Now, calm down. He's gone. He doesn't suspect a thing. It was just the routine. We'll be out of the country in the morning. Look, uh, one more thing. I, uh... I uh, accidentally bumped into the red El Dorado in the driveway with my Hudson, but uh, don't worry about it, ma'am. I'm, ins I'm insured. Oh, it's my car, and, and, and please don't worry about it, Inspector. Oh, his his company car is in your name, is it? Well, it's a it's a beautiful car. By the way, how do you spell El Dorado? I, I think I have red right here. Um, anyway, I can't think of anything. Forgive me. I'm terribly sorry to bother you. Yes. So many things on my mind. Yes, I understand. Good night, Inspector. He's beginning to get on my nerves. Oh, forget it. He's just a dummy in a raincoat. Hell, he's gone. I'm telling you, he suspects something. I I'm getting out of here. Where's my coat? Okay, if it makes you feel better, I'll meet you at the airport. Yes. Look, there's just one. <gasps> I'm awful sorry to bother you. I was writing down your license number, and I, I noticed there's a hand sticking out of the trunk, and I just want to make sure I have the right license number. M three five one three five. Is that about right? Yeah, that's sir? right. That's right. Well, you see, I hate yeah, to make so a mistake. thank you very much, Inspector. I'm sure you can. It's all fine. Thank you. Well, maybe he does know something. I better, I better get the jewels and the securities. You can take them with you down to the airport. Seven fourteen. Look, there's just one. <laughs> this, this kind of bothers me, sir. I notice your speedometer on your car has about 70,000 miles on it. I mean, you been driving any place lately? It's, it's just hard to find a place to park. Oh. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think of that. Well, that makes a lot. Sorry I bothered you. Yes. Oh, sorry. Good guess. Thank you. This just can't be coincidence. Well, maybe you're right. I, I tell you, I, I don't like it. Maybe, maybe you ought to burn the papers. Yeah, that's a good idea. There's no sense in taking unnecessary chances. Look, I'll get the papers from the file. I'll burn the papers in the fireplace, and there'll be no evidence. Right. <laughs> just, um... <laughs> uh, 
Look, I, I was halfway home when I thought of this. It's probably not too important, but I... I happen to find a prescription for cyanide in your glove compartment, and I didn't let it know. I have rats in the car. And I thought I was the only one. I'm sorry to bother you, sir. Look, don't open anything. If we don't open anything, he won't appear. Okay? All right. Well, I'm gonna throw this in the fireplace. Ah, uh, one more thing, sir. <laughs> I, uh, bob that hand in the trunk, it's kind of bob. Well, it's not important. I won't bother you anymore, sir. Good night. <laughs> Quick, light the fire! Get rid of those papers! There, that'll do it. I can't stand any more of this. I think I'm going to scream. Oh, no, calm down. I tell you, there's nothing to worry about. We've got to do something to relax ourselves. Now, I know. Let's listen to music. That'll relax us. Yes. <laughs> That's it. Uh, sir? Uh, just one more thing I wanted to ask you. What, uh... What's the picture playing on the flight to Paris? Towering Inferno! Oh, I see you. You're on separate flights. Well, have a nice trip. I didn't mean to bother you again. We've got to do something! There's only one thing left to do. All right? Now we got you. Come on out of there. Sir, I only have one more. Oh, by the way, do you have a license for that gun? I'll do the talking. You shut up. Now you, you come see, over. I Get the rope and we'll tie him up. You see, I have to put all these things yes, down. Yes, yes, I understand that. Thing. Okay, open your I mouth know. real wide. That's it. Now bite your teeth. That's a boy. There we go. That's tight. That's tight enough. That's it. There, he can't talk. And he can't move, and he won't bother us anymore. We'll be in Paris before they can find him. Now, let's get out of here, and we'll have no more of those stupid questions. Let's go. Just one more thing. It won't take a minute. Let me know